Question 22. Uh, one way in which Peter the Great, uh, Louis the Fourteenth, and Philip the Second are similar is that each, well, first of all, all three of those guys, very, very powerful kings. Anytime you see the great uh, <laughs> connected to somebody, that's uh, a very prominent, powerful king. Um, all three uh, had in common, they, were, they wanted to be absolute monarchs. They wanted to absolute power, um, meaning nobody questioned them. And, um, you know, uh, whether it be parliament or whether it be the nobility, um, you know, that, those are checks in power. They were um, other sources that represented the people uh, to a certain extent. So let's see if we see that in the answers. Um, one, supported missionary efforts of the Roman Catholic Church. Nope. Uh, definitely not. Two, sought to centralize power. Okay, I think that's it already. Um, and yeah, by limiting the power of the nobility. Um, centralized power usually lies in one person, so um, I'm pretty sure that's the answer. Let's just read the other two. Fought to block the establishment of British colonies in the Western Hemisphere. Uh, no, look, first choice, Peter the Great. Uh, we're talking about Russia here, so nope. Um, Four, challenged feudal practices by emancipating serfs. Nope. Uh, so, correct answer for number 22 is two. Sought to centralize power by limiting the power of the nobility. Uh, nobles are, you know, kind of a rich class, um, you know, wealthier than the working class, um, but not quite kings. So, correct answer uh, to number 22 is two.